What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports and if you are a Big Ten fan or a Nebraska fan, please subscribe to our Nebraska channel and our Big Ten channel here at the Voice of College Football. In this video, we are going to give you a projected record for Nebraska for the upcoming 2022 college football season. Here were the projections from 2021 for Nebraska. They were 3-9. and nine. I learned my lesson a little bit about Nebraska. I learned a little bit about from the, the previous couple of seasons. I had projected them way too high, overrated this team. I think a lot of people did as well. And so I kind of scaled that back. I, I looked at, at the schedule and thought, you know, they're probably going to lose some games that they should win and didn't know it was going to go the way it did. They were actually, as as bad as the record is at 3-9, and nine, this team was probably better than I thought they would be. They just lost so many close games. And I did predict them to go 6-6, six and six, thought they would get to a bowl game. Uh, the projection also came out to 6-6. Six and six. The FBI was was close to that, 5.6 and 6.5. And then the over-under was at 6. So everyone pretty much expected Nebraska to be a team right around 500, right around 6-6. Six and six. And they very easily could have been. But with those close losses, they did finish 3-9. and nine. So this video is not going to be a prediction. This is simply a projection based off of the schedule and based off of how good we expect each team to be on that schedule. This is that schedule here. Again, three and nine last year. This is the scale that we use to do this projection. Uh, the games in the wide, and that'll stay in the white. Those are your 50-50 games between 40 and 60%. Those are games that I think the spread will be three or four points or less. Less than 20, over 80. Those are games where I think the spread will be more than two touchdowns. Not guaranteed wins, but games where a team is going to be favored by a lot. You've got your 20 to 29, 71 to 80% games. That's where I think a team is going to be favored by double digits. 10 to 14 points, somewhere in that range. And then 30 to 39, 61 to 70. Those are games where I think a team is going to be favored by about a touchdown. Six, seven, eight points, somewhere in that range. So we start with the easy wins for Nebraska. I think you really only have one. You've got Georgia Southern. I think they should be favored by more than two touchdowns in this game. But that's about it. When you look at the rest of the schedule, you can see the same thing could happen. Could, could very well happen to Nebraska. They could lose a lot of close games this year. I don't think they're. I don't think it's going to be as bad though. I look at the schedule and I think it's more manageable. Not necessarily guaranteed easy wins, but games that Nebraska should win. It, it would be a surprise if they lost. Uh, we go to the games in the blue. I think you've got one here, North Dakota State. I know it's an FCS team, but we all know North Dakota State is a powerhouse FCS team. And I did not feel comfortable putting this game in the green. I don't think Nebraska is going to be favored by more than you know, 12, 13 points in this one. So I'm going to put that one in the blue. And then we go to these games in purple. I think you've got four of those. You've got Northwestern, Indiana, Rutgers, and Illinois. Nebraska should be favored by about a touchdown in these four games. Can they take care of business and win, them, win all four of them? I don't know. Again, Nebraska has lost a lot of close games. If they do, if they win the six games here that I think that they will be favored, clear favorites in, that's going to get them to 6-6, six and six, even if they lose the rest of these games. But they could lose the Rutgers on the road. They lost to Illinois last year. Indiana, are they going to be improved? I mean, you never know. The schedule, it sets up pretty well for Nebraska. Let's be honest here. They don't have to play Ohio State much better than last year. But still, it's, it's, a, it's going to come down to probably a lot of close games. And we'll find out if Nebraska can finally, finally find a way to win those games. So those games, again, I think they'll be favored by about a touchdown. We go now to the games where I think they're going to be an, an underdog. I really think there's only one game here where Nebraska's a clear underdog, and that's on the road at Michigan. Um, they could even, who knows, they could win that game, but I think Michigan will be favored by about a touchdown, especially playing at Michigan. But that's it. I mean, they've got a legitimate chance to, to win the rest of these games. Will they win them all? Probably not. But I'm just saying they're, they're not going to be a huge underdog uh, and I think that kind of goes back to last year. They didn't get blown out by anyone. They played with everyone, and I think they'll be able to play with everyone again this year. And I've got these other five games as really 50-50 games. Oklahoma, Purdue, Minnesota, Wisconsin, and Iowa. Starting with Oklahoma, Nebraska played them tough last year. It's at home this year. Uh, they might even be favored in this game by a couple of points. Oklahoma with the new coaching staff. I think it's going to be a great game, and I think that game will really set the tone for their season. If they find a way to win that game and they start off 4-0, and get past Indiana and Rutgers, maybe finish or start off 6-0. and uh, this, this could be a really good year for Nebraska. And then you've got your other four games. So when I look at the Big Ten West, I look at Purdue, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Iowa, and Nebraska. 
as being pretty even. I think those five teams all have a legitimate chance in that division. I don't think Wisconsin and Iowa are, are above these teams. I think they're all pretty equal. Uh, you know, they've got their their problems on offense. Minnesota and Purdue are good quality teams. Nebraska has some talent. So I think really when you look at those teams playing each other, you've got a bunch of toss up games, and those are going to be the games that determine the division. Of course, Purdue, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Iowa, those four games, those 50-50 games, if they lose them all, could wind up being a disappointing season. If they win them all, could be a really special season for Nebraska. So what's the projection here? Well, we average all this out. We count Georgia Southern as a win, and then we go uh, with, with the yellow is 35%, the purple is 65%, the blue is 75%, the white games, those are going to be at 50%. Average all that out, and Nebraska's projected record is 7-5. and five. So that has them... Projected one game higher than last year. Remember, projected to go six and six last year. Projected to go seven and five this year. Even if they finish a game under that, they could still get to a bowl game. Uh, but I think Nebraska has a, a very le legitimate chance, a very good chance of getting to seven and five this year, and maybe even doing better than that. Again, it will come down to a lot of close games, and if they're able to win those games, it could be a really good year for Nebraska. If they don't find a way to win them, it could be a repeat of last year. We'll find out once the season gets here. But what do you guys think? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you think the record will be higher or lower? Give me your thoughts down in the comments below.